You ready to eat, baby? In nearby Middlesboro, Kentucky, snake handler Cody Coots is caring for his church's few remaining snakes. Some people's got their pet dogs, pet spiders. I have pet snakes. Some people believe all snakes should go to church. Some snakes, I think, I like to make more like a pet project. That snake that's eaten has never been packed at church. We've had it for about three years, and we have put over five or six hundred dollars worth of food into that snake. For little Cody, Keeping snakes started as a religious obligation, then grew into an obsession. But without a job or a source of income, keeping the cages full and the snakes fed is a constant burden. We had a canebrake die about two weeks ago, and now that we got three eating, that limits us to carry it only. We got three snakes to carry to church. So we're going with the goal today to catch more snakes for church. Water getting warm. Despite his father's position in the church, Cody wasn't always a believer in snake handling. Thank the Lord. How many is glad to be here tonight? Hey, hey buddy, amen. When I was out of church, I just told people, when I grow up, I'm going to be a cocaine dealer. I ain't preaching in your church. Since for a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doeth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Finally, one day, you know, I just begin to sit and think about it. I knew if I died, I was going to hell, and it was just pure torment. So finally, I found God, and I went from cocaine dealer to snake handling preacher. Since he's gotten in church, me and Cody are very close. Not only dad and son, we're like best friends. 